All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're looking at Highlight Heaven. That's the channel. We are looking at the highlights from the first round of the AAF, the Alliance of American Football. It's a brand new professional American Football League, and it has just started. We've just had the first week. I've just watched the first game, so I'm about to watch the second game. I'm not gonna do too much talking in this one. I feel like the last two videos have been rambling like a, what I'd normally call the mother, Fucker, but I'm trying not to swear so much. So anyways guys, the second game, San Diego Fleet versus San Antonio Commandeers. Let's do this. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. That's when you thought football season was over. The big it's not. Tonight here in San Antonio, Texas, history is made as CBS Sports presents The Alliance. The Alliance. Oh, 60 frames. I like that. First play. Let's get the party started, exactly. See that again. Quick slant. Oh, yes, I love that move. Did you just see that? That was a brilliant move. It was clean. You know, he doesn't need to be super, super fast, but if he makes that move, gets past him, and then the cut is clean, one step, bang, not making it look like he's going to cut, but he does cut. Let's have a look at it. Watch this, so simple. This guy here, he just absolutely has it all over his man. None of these guys are expecting him to get the ball because they're all thinking it's going to be a running play, right? They're all looking straight on. This guy, if he gets past him, it's, it's basically in his, in his, the ball's in his court, so to speak. Bang off the left, he's around him. These guys, these guys are not looking, these guys aren't looking, they feel like it's gonna be a run, but it's not. And this guy's about to step. Funnily enough, the quarterback actually throws the ball before this guy even steps. That's the relationship that they have, isn't it? Okay, no more stopping, sorry. That's fucking nice, man. The ball was thrown, he steps, he turns around. He knew the ball was gonna be there before he even made that step. And that is when you really start excelling in the game, isn't it? When you know your routes, you expect the ball to be there before it's even there. You really can focus on your route and getting past your man and making sure you're open so then you know that the ball is already gonna be taken care of. You've just gotta do your job and I'm rambling. I'm, I'm just excited, I'm excited to watch some freaking live football. Well, not live, not live, but 2019 football. Everyone on the San Antonio coaching staff guys has been talking about a pickup of 22 to get it going. Well, Logan Woodside's gonna give a quick flash fake to the running back, that draws the linebackers up, you have one-on-one -on -one coverage to this after the move of the franchise. And he works under center on first and 10, a little He's lucky to get that. Nice. What was that? <laughs> he got smashed. Absolutely monstered. Shit. Let's have a look at this. Boom! Oh, oh, fuck. oh fuck, right to the side of the head, man. I'm not meant to be swearing either. That's disgusting. Right now, especially with this young quarterback. This is the roster that he put together. Which side the pump Oh! That defender's got to be gutted. What a catch! How do you break that in? Yeah, well, I'm more impressed with Roy 
Vince gets here. Greg Ward obviously delayed on his route. Damn, man. Quarterback would slow his feet down, then ran by him to the night from Nick Rose. And what could the defender have done there? Let me have a look. Okay, we'll see this angle here. This defender here. Okay, he's pumped it. This guy has pumped it. This defender thinks he's already thrown it. He's turned around. Now the ball's thrown. He's still got about, he's still got probably three yards. That this, def he's still, he's, the defender's still probably three yards in front. So he's got a bit of room. But when you're facing the outside and the ball's coming from the inside, really all you can do is look at, look at the attacker, isn't it? So let's see what he does. He's just watching the attacker. He turned around. He turned around to try and catch the ball because he saw this guy turning around. Bad mistake. He should have just kept, he should have kept in arms, in arms reach, made sure, I guess, to try and push him out, I suppose. What should he have done, guys? Actually, the commentator just told me what... Yeah. Don't listen to me, guys. Yeah. Something like that. Nice run! I like that. He looks about five foot eight, but I like that because he saw he had space, but he still kept the ball in that, you know, tucked, secured position, which, geez, I mean, if I saw some open daylight, the first thing I'd want to do is completely open up and run as fast as possible, which would mean that I'd have to take the ball out from that and put it under my arm, but he doesn't, which I'm impressed with. See? Good shit, bro. He did take it out, obviously, but... That's exactly why. If he had have taken that out, that arm tackle had a rip, would have ripped that ball out. If he had have taken that ball out, that tackle would have ripped the ball out. So, okay, so that's what he was waiting for. He was waiting to get past that tackle. He felt himself get through it. Then he's like, sweet, I'm going to take the ball out. And then making a guy miss in the secondary. I lose it for running back sometimes. Here we go again. Nice cuts. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I like this. Keep going. You got this. You got this. Keep going. I thought he was going to score. He's probably tired. <laughs> nice return. Clean, man. Block, block, block. This should be a 23-yard chip shot attempt. Chip shot. Escobar. That was the uh, that was the tight end I I heard about in the pre-match commentary by this other guy. Um, let me have a look at him. He he looked massive to me. He's played NFL, I'm pretty sure. He is massive. Looks about six foot five. Side has struggled in the last couple of positions. Only one of his last nine passing to the airways here on third attempt. It's deflected and intercepted by San Diego. Is that? I thought it was the same guy. 
where the fleet needed a big defensive play and Muller so some guys are wearing the full length tights, grey tights, and some guys are wearing half with yellow. Why? Play 15 yards on the return and San Diego has it inside of a minute left. Ryan Moeller has come up big the last two possessions. He's the one that got his hand in to knock away the touchdown to force the commanders to take the field goal on their last possession. This time, after the tip pass, he gets his hands on it. Returns and sets him up here to score before the half. Yeah, Woodside's got to throw that ball across the middle. Dick Even just this step and, right and, and here. I mean, outside, I just like it. I love steps. I love jukes, man. I, I fucking love them, guys. <laughs> Good kick. Needed some height, or well, that was going to be blocked. Good run. 27. I like that. Third and seven. What are you going to do here? You better convert. Ooh, just. Hey, it's a woman ref. Close game. There's been a lot of picks in, the, in these first two games, man. Makes for an exciting game, though. So both quarterbacks now throwing two interceptions. And the frustration continues for San Diego. Here is Big bomb, no way. Two on one, he's still got it. Shot. Too easy. He's still hurting from that that sack that he lost his helmet. What? Fourth quarter. Oh yeah. They did a great job up front. Watch what they're gonna do here. Collapsing it all. Collapsing it all. All down. Give me an edge and I'll run the daylight. Okay. Although, shouldn't this defender have him? Or possibly this defender? Not when they collapse in like that. Oh, he just got broken in half. Wonder how that felt. What a play by Curtis Drummond, the former collegiate star of Michigan State. Yeah, big hit. Why is that? What a play. Bro, all he did was run into someone with his fucking shoulder. What a play. Come on, man. Beautifully timed. Beautifully timed. That would that would have felt so fucking good for that guy. The guy who made the hit would have felt amazing. But all he's done is watch a guy grab the ball, come back down to the ground, and just smack him before he can even do anything about it. Like it's not that good of a hit, is it? It's a big hit, but it's not a skillful hit. Oh, yeah. Get the oh, yes, what a catch. Is 
Jackson, just turn around. He never turns around to look at the ball. Bang! I love those little shimmies from the start. I, I, I love them. For half a second. Quarterbacks on time, easy completion. Well, the timing of the throw was excellent by, by Woodside. And we had a 28-yard attempt to try to make it a two-possession game. And Rose is good. Nine points in Antonio Lee. Nelson rolls out. He's going to run for it again. This time he's able to get out of bounds. Saw a couple of turbulent years there. Brief stretch of Rutgers before ending in East Carolina. Nelson put his back into it. Complete. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm, this is the last time I'll stop this. I'm thinking in my head, okay. I'm thinking, why have I not seen them take any two-point kicks after the touchdown? I read in the rule book before I started this that there were no one-point conversions anymore. They're all two-point conversions. What I took that to mean was that it was still a kick, but it was worth two points. What it actually means is there are no kicks. They're just two-point conversions, just like in the normal game of American football. I've got it now. Okay, I got it. It's not the same as rugby. It's totally different. Sidelines to Brown again. We got Tom Landry as his GM. Hail Mary! Let's <laughs> crack up. I knew that was a hail mary because I saw those three wide receivers just take off, and the only time I've seen that is in Madden when I've called a hail mary. You know, you've either got two on each side, you've got three here and one here, or you've got four here. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, I've called that play in Madden many a time. And of course, there's no time on the clock, and why wouldn't you? Let's see what happens. Sideline to Brown again. Go, Tom Landry, who's his GM. Go! For the San Antonio Riders. Oh! Oh, he had that! Good effort. Not a bad effort at all. I'd call you the bad man. Well, there you go. There you go. Okay. Is this the next one? What was the next one? Birmingham Memphis. Memphis Express versus Birmingham Iron. And that will be my fourth video of the day and my third uh, AAF game for week one. We've got two more to go. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I'm certainly enjoying it. I'm going to be following this throughout the whole season. It's a shorter season, which is good. There's only eight teams, only going to be four games every week, so I'm going to be able to re react to them all. And uh, I guess by the end of it, I'll know a whole new group of players and be supporting a whole new group of teams. But I know my team is the legends. And I kind of like the fact that they got smashed in the first week. Because, yeah, it would be boring if they were smashing everyone else. I, I, I like an underdog at times. I like an underdog. So, you know what? <laughs> but actually, thinking back, thinking back to watching the game, they did actually, they did make some pretty, pretty horrendous errors. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, as always, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, do that too. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.